Hi everyone, Dr. D'Amico here. I'm thinking of each and every one of you, hoping you're doing as well as can be expected in these circumstances. I wanted to let you know, and by you, I mean students in my History 210 class, that's African American History, that yours is the class I've struggled the most with when it comes to thinking about how to put our work online. And that's because yours is the class that is the most interactive for me when I think about the content that we are going to cover each week. As you know, I had what I think and thought were some pretty cool plans for some guest speakers. Um, we were going to have Alan Cashaw come in from the Johnstown NAACP. I had a couple other plans as well. Miss Lynn Banks was going to talk to us about spiritual music. Uh, so those plans obviously aren't going to work out. As I sat down today to work on our draft of our class schedule for the rest of the semester and put our work online, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I had, I had a moment where I got really frustrated and really upset because this is one of the classes I teach that mean the most to me at St. Francis University. It's one that seems to really resonate with students, students of all races. And so I got frustrated, I got upset, and I thought, I just don't, I don't know how to do this. I don't know, there's no way I can cover everything that I wanted to cover um, while still giving you what I think is a reasonable and fair workload for you on top of everything else that I know you have going on as well. I know this is incredibly difficult time for everyone. I know all of your professors are asking you to do a lot of work. Me too. And that's because we want you to learn. Uh, we want to teach you the best we can in these circumstances, which are not ideal. So I got frustrated. I got upset. Um, and then I remembered back to what happened to me when I was in college. And, um, what happened to me when I was in college one year was I was going into my senior year of college at the University of Colorado at Boulder. And the man who's now my husband, but back then was my boyfriend, had a terrible motorcycle accident. Uh, we thought he, the doctors told us he would never walk again. He had a spinal cord injury. He was partially paralyzed. Um, so that was in August uh, of the summer of my, right before my senior year. And in that one instant, everything that I thought my life was going to look like from then on changed. But especially in the short term, the senior year I had planned out for myself changed drastically. Things that I thought were going to happen and things that seemed really important to me now suddenly maybe they weren't going to happen or they were going to happen differently than I had expected, intended, and planned for. Um, so here, here's a picture. That's, that's Ken. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's Ken, my husband. But then he was not my husband yet. This is me. We're 21. We're 21 in this picture here. And there he is sitting in his um, wheelchair with his back brace on. And there I am, honestly giving, giving a look to his mother, like, why are you taking this picture right now? But anyway, <laughs> um, I remembered how, even though that was such a difficult time for me, and there were a lot of days in those months and in that year where I thought, I, don't, I can't possibly imagine what my life is going to look like a year or five years or 20 years from now. I thought I had it figured out, you know. I had this plan, I was gonna graduate from college. Um, I wanted to become a history professor, but for a long time I wasn't sure that's what was actually gonna happen after this amazing thing happened that was pretty awful to go through, honestly, and which totally changed our lives, both of our lives. But then I remembered that, that terrible event in a lot of ways is what helped me and my husband Ken become who we are today. And um, I really like the life I have now 
And I think a lot of that is because of that difficult time that I went through. So I just tried to think about that as I thought about our class. I thought, okay, what's in front of me is not the thing that I thought was going to be in front of me. Something else is here instead, something I didn't plan for. So how can I make the best of that instead? How can I work with what is in front of me instead of what I wish were in front of me or what I thought or planned for? So that's what I'm going to try to do. And do please understand that my top priority is actually not to teach you history, including African-American history. That's very important to me. That's my job. I love it. And I think it's absolutely crucial, especially in these times. Now more than ever, we need to understand structural inequalities. We need to understand um, how change happens, top-down change, bottom-up change. Now more than ever, I think we need to get all that. But the number one priority for me right now is um, the well-being of me, of the people I love, and of my students. So please remember that I am here for you as a resource. I want you all to, every single one of you, I want to succeed in this class. So please stay in touch with me and uh, help me help you do that. Thanks, everyone.